All right, so we've got all of our materials placed. We just need to make them look a little better, because right now they're kind of going off in every single direction, and that's really not so good. So we're going to start off by dealing with the walls, because those are the most painfully obvious problem areas. I'm going to select one wall, right-click, and underneath Select Surfaces, we're going to go right back to Adjacent Walls, which will grab all the walls for us. Now... To change the placement of our texture, we are going to use the Surface Properties window. There's a couple of places to get to this. One is to go into the View menu and choose Surface Properties, or my personal favorite is just to press the F5 key, and that'll open it right up for you. Now, to get everybody aligned in the proper direction, we're actually going to do a real quick cheat. We're going to come down to Alignment. So here in the Alignment group, we're going to select Planar, and then click Apply, and that just lines everybody up. And it's, there's no cheating in production. As long as you get everything done, everything's good. So that's lined up, and that was quick and easy. Now, we have some scaling we can apply as well. So I want you to come to the scaling group, and we're going to choose simple scaling. And I want you to set this to four. So we're going to make the texture four times bigger than it is right now. Go ahead and click apply, and there you go. So it lines everything up, and it looks a lot better. Now, just as a personal preference, I want to take this kind of steel bar-ish kind of rail along the top of our texture. I want to pull that down so it sits right on top of the door. Now to do this, we're going to pan the texture in the V direction. You'll notice you have some buttons up here in the pan group for U and V. And each one of these buttons is going to move the texture that number of units in, uh, well, that number of unreal units in either U or V, being either horizontally or vertically. So let's go ahead and click on 4 in the V direction, and you'll see that's kind of starting to move that down. If we want finer control, we can switch over to just clicking the 1 button, and that'll just move it one unit. And if you go too far, because I wanted to set that right on top of the door, then you can hold down Shift, and then click, and that'll actually slide it in the other direction. So I'm just going to carefully set that right on top of the door, like so. And so that takes care of the walls for us. Real quick, real easy and everybody's happy. Now let's take a look at the floor. We have a couple of problems with the floor. One is that I think the tiles are too big. Uh, the second is that the tiles don't really line up. If you take a look here, they start to look a little weird, which in a way almost works. The, uh, the textures actually tile well enough that if you left it like that, it would just about work out, all things considered. But here in the doorway, we have an obvious problem. So what I'm gonna do is select one of these surfaces, then I'm gonna right click, come back under Select Surfaces and choose Adjacent Floors, and that'll grab all of the different floor surfaces. We're going to come back down to Planar in our Alignment group and click Apply again, which will just line everybody up so we don't have any more of those unsightly seams, which we can verify here inside the doorway. Everything's nice and clean now. Now let's take our scale, and we're going to pull that down to 0.5. Click Apply, and there we go. So now our tiles are smaller. In fact, if you take a look at the walls, they actually line up pretty well with the walls because of the size of the texture. Now let's do the same thing to the ceiling. Now the ceiling doesn't really need its alignment adjusted. We're just going to take its scaling, leave it at 0.5 and click apply, and that'll just make those tiles a bit smaller for the ceiling. Actually, you know what? I don't like that. <laughs> so we're going to set that back to 1 and click apply again and put that right back where it was, and now I'm happy. Okay, so the last surfaces we need to deal with are these surfaces here in the ceiling. I'm going to grab this kind of great vent sort of texture here in the center, and let's increase its scale. Let's say, let's make it twice as big as it was a second ago. Now I want to pan it a little bit in U and V because I like these outer edges to kind of line up with the outside of the rail. So I'm going to slide this in U just one unit at a time, and we'll try to get those little bolt holes there kind of lined up halfway through. Oh, it went a little bit too far, so let's hold down Shift and click that button again. And that looks pretty good. So now let's move it in V, and I'm going to hold down Shift because it's closer to move it in this direction. And we'll just get it about halfway through, and we can see there's now a nice border all the way around that surface, which looks good. Now, last four surfaces, being these little kind of beveled surfaces, I'm going to hold down Control and select all four, and simply leave my simple scale at 2 and click Apply and just make that texture bigger all around. Now that's really all I wanted to do. Very quick and easy work with the Surface Properties window. 
So we've aligned all of our textures. Things are looking good. At this point, go ahead and save your level, and then we will continue to move forward.